Do 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 I eat game. Yeah. What's up, Tarnished? Mark here, and we are working on the Erd Tree Burial Watchdog boss. And this is a this is a fun fight, but this guy creeped me out. He's a really creepy looking boss. Let me go ahead and pull up the map so we can make sure we are all on the same page. This is one of the first bosses you will probably face. Um, it's it's simple, but it can really you can get caught up on some things. I know I did. By the way, over here to the left, there's a lever. If you're looking to open this door, you don't need a key. You need to drop down from the ledge above to pull that lever. And then you'll have access. Uh, let's go over a couple of things really quickly. I'm playing a Vanguard and I've removed all heavy stuff, including the halberd. So I have a faster roll. I have a medium roll. I've upgraded my longsword to plus three. So if you see me doing more damage than you, that's probably why. Uh, we are gonna be use using uh, spirits to help us out here. If you do not have the spirit calling bell, go to the church of Ella. Rena should be there. She will give you this equipment. We are gonna be using two-handed, uh, if you're doing melee, we're gonna be using a two-handed weapon. Um, triangle Y plus right bumper will get you in the two-handed state. We are gonna do a jump attack with that two-handed. It does a really, it does a good amount of damage and it's a good strategy. Um, the boss mostly has like heavy attacks and I'm gonna show you what to, what to look out for. So as soon as we get in here, we are gonna summon those spirits to help us out. So go ahead and hit triangle, wherever you've assigned them on the D-pad, go ahead and do that. And we're gonna let them go off and we're gonna hang back a little bit. Just analyze the movement of this boss because it is really strange. The rhythm, getting the rhythm of this fight um, takes a little bit. Now, when he floats up, we're gonna keep our distance. And then when he slams down, we have an opportunity to attack here. So you wanna make sure you, you calculate the distance, line up a jump attack just like this. So we're gonna move in, jump and hit R2. And we're only gonna get one and we're gonna roll back out. Sometimes he will turn around and swing very quickly or slam the ground. He has several different attacks that he does. So with the, with the spirits keeping him busy, it does help us out, sets us up. And when he stands up like this, there is a quick attack that comes. I, I'm, I suggest you just kind of hang back. Unless you feel comfortable with it, hang back until he's done. Now when the blade goes down, he does this 360 swipe. You can actually jump over that swipe and R2, jump R2 and get a heavy attack in there and then just roll back out as quickly as possible. So we are in, out, in, out. That's kind of the rhythm of this fight. And the wolves are actually staying long, alive longer than I thought they would. But again, as soon as they take the attention away from you, you can run in there, get a shot in, and then get out of there. And again, when it goes up on its hind legs, yeah, don't forget to pick up your runes, by the way. Um, I say keep your distance. now. There is a flame attack here. Watch out for the floor. It will do some damage to you, but if you can, work your way around and get in another attack. So we're getting towards the end here, and towards the end, when, when he goes up, he actually comes down and slams down faster and also does this more often. So be careful, keep your distance, get your timing right, and do a jump heavy attack again when he is open like that. And then just keep, be sure you keep your distance because he gets pretty wild here at the end. But if you line it up, you should be able to get one or two more attacks to take him down. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.